Hi everyone, for today's Fun Friday video, I am going to show you how to sew this cute hand towel. And it's made with a hand towel and a pot holder. It's those sets that you can buy. And my friend uh, Heather C. Crafts had given me this hand towel as a gift. And I thought it was really clever, so I asked her if I could do a tutorial on it, and she said sure. And here are the sets I picked out. I got these at the Dollar General, and it came two to a pack, so two towels and two uh, pot holders. And I picked this one because it was nice and bright, and plus the towels are two different towels. The pot holders are the same, but the towels are different. And I um, washed them. I washed the pot holders and the towels, and I dried them, and then I took an iron, and I ironed it. And then you just fold it over, you know, to the middle until it's the right length for the pot holder. And I just did that by holding up the pot holder to the towel. And now, and now I'm going to find the middle of the pot holder and I do that by folding it in half. And then I'm going to take this removable pen and I'm going to mark where the middle is but I'm gonna just mark on the side of the pot holder. I don't need to draw a line down the middle or anything. And I just keep it folded and I find the middle and then I just create one little line. I just mark one little line. And once I have that done, I know where the middle is. And now I have to do the same uh, for the towel. And I'm just folding it to make sure it's the middle and it is the middle. And for the towel, I do have a little crease line, but it's a little hard to see. So I'm taking that same pen, and I'm just going to make a couple of dash marks where the middle of the towel is, so I know where to sew. And once I know where the middle is, I'm taking that towel, and remember I folded it you know, towards the middle, both sides towards the middle. And I'm going to take a couple of pins and I'm going to pin it in place. And once I have it pinned to the pot holder, I'm just making sure that it's not backwards or anything. Because <laughs> I've done that, I've put the solid color on the outside before. But I'm just making sure and it is right, so I'm going to take it over to my sewing machine and I'm going to make uh, some stitching right down the middle. And here I am at my sewing machine and I'm just going to use a straight stitch and I'm going to start stitching. And in the beginning you should always back stitch. So I made a few stitches and then I'm back stitching. Now I'll go completely down the middle and then once I get to the end I will back stitch again. And it's important to back stitch because if you don't back stitch your stitches aren't going to get locked in place at the beginning or the end and it will all come undone. So it's very important to back stitch. And there I am at the end and I am going forward and then I'm going to back stitch a couple of stitches so it's locked in place. And then I'll cut the threads and then I'll flip my towel around and I'm going to do the same thing, uh, another stitch line right down the middle, but super close to that first stitch line. I would say about you know an eighth of an inch in. And I'm just it doesn't matter what side, but I'm just going on this side. And again, I'm starting to stitch, and I will back stitch, and then I will do the same thing when I get to the end of that line. And now that the towel's stitched onto the pot holder, I picked a bigger purple button and I'm going to sew that on by hand with just a needle and thread. So I'll thread the needle. And once I get that needle threaded, I'm going to show you how to sew a button on uh, with no knots. You don't really need to knot this. But there's the end and I'm not knotting it. So I'm leaving it completely open on the end. And then I'm gonna take my button and I'm gonna decide where I'm, you know, want it. I wanna make sure it's not up too high or it's not down too low. So I, I figure out where I want the button. And then uh, I'm gonna hold the button in place with my fingers. And then uh, again, I'm checking it just to make sure. 
And then I'm going to take that needle and thread and on the back, I'm going to uh, place uh, that needle in the pot holder kind of far away. I'm not pushing it to the front of the pot holder. I'm going in between the layers. And then I'm going to push that needle uh, to where the button is and I'm pulling the tails uh, just barely through where I pushed in that needle. So the tail is already buried. And then I'm going to find the buttonhole and I'm going to uh, push that needle up and I'm kind of holding it in the back with my finger so it doesn't pull through. But then I'm going to go to the other side of the button and I'm going to do this about uh, five times. And for the last time, I'm putting that needle through the buttonhole. And now I'm not going to go to the back of the button. I'm just going to go underneath the button. I'm not grabbing any of the fabric. And I'm pulling it through. And then I'm going to wind that thread at least three times around the base of the button. And now I'm going to take it and you know I, I set the string around the button and I hold a little loop and then I pull the thread through that loop and it's behind the button. And then I pull it uh, making sure it's tight but not so tight that I break the, the thread. And then I'm going to do that again. This creates a knot. I made a loop around the button and then I'm going to put my needle through that loop and then I will pull it tight. And that creates a knot. And then, uh, and now to end this, I'm not going to cut it yet. I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to push it through uh, the thread at the base of that button there. And I'm pushing it through. And then I will um, go up towards the top of the pot holder, through the pot holder, but not to the back. So it's in the middle of the layers again. And I'm, I'm trying to get it where I want it. <laughs> I decide it needs to go into that purple part. And so I pull it up. And then I'm going to cut the thread flush to the top of that pot holder. And that is uh, how I was taught to sew buttons on. So that's how I'm showing you. And it's perfect. <laughs> it's not too high and not too low. But there's the button and the pot holder hand towel is finished. And it's super easy. These would make a fantastic um, like craft fair project because they're super cheap to make. And uh, they're, they're quick to make. So, and then uh, you can just hang this up in your kitchen on the oven door or on handles of drawers. You know, that's uh, what these are for. It's for the kitchen, I guess, or anywhere you want. But I want to say thanks to Heather for letting me uh, show this hand towel, how to make this hand towel. And I will uh, link uh, Heather's channel down below so you can check out Heather C. Crafts. And if you haven't already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my little avatar or my profile picture. I've made it easy for you. Just click that and I will have some other interesting videos for you to the left. So thanks for watching. Bye.